Have you guys seen these videos online of people cutting in really, really quickly with a ton of paint on their brush and thought to yourself, hey, I could probably paint like that. We well, probably can't. But I'm gonna tell you why that's not such a bad thing. And I'm gonna show you a better way to cut in, especially if you're a beginner. So stick around, you might just learn something. So you're thinking to yourself, wow, that was fast and super clean. The only problem is a lot of that is just movie magic. Look at the top. There's a ton of paint on the top, wavy on the sides. Autumn's not great. If you were living in here, this wouldn't be acceptable. This is just one of the reasons why in cases like this, we always recommend if the thing you're cutting around can be removed, just remove it. It will always look better and it doesn't take very long. You don't end up with stuff like this. Can't even tell you how many times we've had to clean that kind of stuff up. When in doubt, take it out. And I'll just run their brush like this. Typically what you're gonna see in these videos is a brush that looks something like this. There's just a ton of paint on that brush. And the good thing about that is that it helps you cut in with more paint faster. And the bad thing is it's messier. And as I'll show you, you're gonna get paint on spots you don't want paint. So basically all they'll do is you'll see them push it on and they'll just run their brush like this. And from this angle, it's not too bad. And then you'll come in with your backstrokes, fill it in, but it's actually just movie magic. Great coverage, really quick, and honestly, from this angle, looks great. Problem is, you go from the other angle, not so good, right? You can see how wavy it is. So I'm gonna show you how to do it cleaner. It's just put a few strokes on there. I'm gently gonna push those bristles into the corner, and I'm gonna let the corner dictate where the cut goes. So I'm just very gently sliding it along, and the angle will dictate that line for me. You can go back and fill it in. It holds up a lot better from other angles. So let me fill this in. And now typically we use a roller to texturize that paint. When I come from underneath, it's just as clean from underneath as it is from the face. So from this angle, they both look pretty good. This one, when you get up close, not so good. This one stays consistent. 